Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Let's take a look at how to use Isotope's RX Elements to remove hum from an electric guitar track. RX Elements is part of the Isotope Elements suite, which consists of four modules or plugins, each designed for a specific task. All four modules come with the Elements suite. There's D-Clip for repairing distortion caused by clipping, D-Click for repairing clicks, Voice Denoise for removing background noise from spoken dialogue or a sung vocal, and D-Hum, which we'll be using today to remove electrical hum from a guitar track. Basically, the pickups in a guitar, especially single-coil pickups, act as antennas and pick up noise from nearby power lines and transformers. This noise is amplified by gain pedals on the guitar amp itself and becomes audible as low-frequency hum. The more gain you use, the louder the hum gets. In the U.S., this hum is at 60 Hz plus the harmonics above that frequency. In other parts of the world, the hum is based at 50 Hz. Just for reference, the low E string on a guitar sits at around 83 Hz. If you drop tune down to C, you're still above 65 Hz. D-Hum works by using up to eight very narrow notch filters to cut out the specific frequencies of the hum and its harmonics while leaving the guitar signal untouched. It works amazingly well. Check this out. Here's a guitar track I recorded in my home studio using a Telecaster set to its single coil neck pickup into a fairly low gain amplifier. Now imagine how loud the hum would be if I were using high gain. But even at this gain level, the hum is clearly audible when the guitar is not playing, and you can even clearly hear it underneath the guitar while it's playing. We could edit this track to cut out the noise when the guitar is not playing, but that doesn't help with the hum we hear underneath while the guitar is playing. The other problem is that if we EQ and process the guitar track, we'll also be EQing and processing the hum along with it. It makes things messy, hard to deal with, and harder to mix into the final track. So ideally we'd remove that hum. Let's listen again. Here's the raw guitar track with the hum in all its glory. Now here's the exact same track with the hum applied. That's an amazing difference, and here's another little testimonial for you. This is Dehum at its default setting. All I did was open the plugin up. I didn't touch a single control. We can tweak things if we like, but it really is pretty much ready to go right out of the gate. The hum is gone, and I don't hear a change in the guitar tone at all. Let's play it a track again, and this time bring the plugin in and out so you can hear what it's doing. Now you may notice that there's still a little bit of mid-range and high-frequency buzz and hiss present. Those are more difficult to remove, and my experience trying to take those out can often affect the guitar tone. To do it right, you'd need a tool like Isotope Spectral Denoiser to tackle it. But if we simply edit the track when the guitar is not playing, to my ears that noise disappears. Here's what I mean. To me, there are no noise problems left in that track at all. It's clean and ready to go. So as we just saw, Dehum does a great job simply using its default setting. But we can also tweak it if we need to for a particular noise problem or for hearing a change to the guitar tone. Let's take a quick tour. We can see here in the center of the window that Dehum has eight filters. We can select how many are active with the number of harmonics control. We can also adjust how deep the notch is cut. I find that 60 dB is usually plenty. That's a huge drop in level. Remember, decibels are logarithmic, not linear. But we can cut as far as 80 dB if necessary. For me, I found that when you get deeper than 60 dB in cut, it can start to affect the guitar tone. We can choose to link the eight filters, so changing one changes them all. Or we can group them by odd and even harmonics. Or adjust each filter separately. We can also slope them, which decreases the amount of cut as the filter frequency gets higher. 
This might be necessary if the higher frequency filters are affecting the guitar tone. Near the top of the window, we also have a high pass filter which cuts low frequencies or bass, and a low pass filter that cuts the high frequencies or treble. These are placed before the eight harmonic filters and can help if you have certain rumble, hum, or hiss problems. A key setting for dehum is the bass frequency, which is the fundamental pitch of the hum. This tells dehum where to place its filters. In the US, this will usually be 60 Hz, and in other parts of the world, it may be 50 Hz. You can also set this to free, which allows you to dial in the exact frequency if it's off from 50 or 60 Hz. It's easy to find this by ear, just play the track and move the slider to find the best frequency. But dehum is also smart enough to listen to the hum and suggest a bass frequency for you. Just engage the suggest button and play the track. If your hum is off from 50 or 60 Hz, this is an easy way to find the exact frequency. Filter cue sets how wide the filter notches are. The bigger the number, the narrower the notch. It defaults to 1000 and I find this to work great just about all the time. If the hum changes pitch during a track, adaptive mode can help. It will automatically follow the frequency of the hum. Sometimes I've had this occur if the guitar is picking up hum and the guitarist turns or shifts position while playing, but honestly I've rarely needed it. Filter DC offset removes noise that can occur when an analog signal is converted to digital. I typically just leave this on. Selecting linear phase filters makes the filters more phase accurate, but it can also sometimes introduce audible ringing. I find the standard filters work just fine for me. Finally, you can choose to listen to just the hum if you like, and once you have your settings dialed in, you can save them as a preset for easy recall later. So there's plenty of power here to customize dehum if you need or want to, but for me I love that I can simply open it up and it just works. It couldn't be faster or easier.